Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Canada has some of the strictest travel and border measures in the world. We've closed the borders since March to everyone for whom Canada is not home. We have a two-week quarantine for everyone returning to the country, and we now have a mandatory negative test before flying home. These measures work. They're saving lives. And that's why our friends and allies are following suit. Just take the United States, where they've recently adopted the same requirement for a negative test before flying back into the country. We are doing whatever it takes to keep Canadians safe. As I've said before, when it comes to protecting you and your family, nothing is off the table. We will not hesitate to take even tougher measures if and when they're needed, and we'll be making an announcement in the coming days. The bad choices of a few will never be allowed to put everyone else in danger. Of course, travel is only one part of the equation when it comes to beating COVID-19. Fighting this pandemic also means we need the tools to test and trace the spread of the virus right here at home. In the last week alone, we've delivered over a million rapid tests to the provinces and territories. That brings us to 15.4 million rapid tests that we've sent out to the front lines. And even more are on the way. I think about all the people who've been on the front lines of this fight against COVID-19 for almost a year now. They know how far we've come, and they know that we need to keep going just a little longer. To our doctors, nurses, and long-term care workers, thank you. From Victoria to Iqaluit to St. John's, you're taking care of our parents, grandparents, and friends. Right now, you're working longer hours than ever. You are our heroes. Your service and dedication every day is remarkable. Now, it may only be January, but this winter is already turning out to be a long one. And for many business owners who are worried about how to get through to better days, I know that spring and summer seem a long way off. When this pandemic started, we made a promise that we'd be there for Canadians. And every day since, we've done exactly that. Our government has rolled out the largest economic measures in Canada's history to support small businesses across the country, from the Canada Emergency Business Account to the wage subsidy. But even with this help, during a second wave, things are tough. For many businesses and their employees, it's hard to get back on their feet. That's why we're now partnering with Canada's largest financial institutions to introduce the new Highly Affected Sectors Credit Availability Program, or HASCAP. Through HASCAP, Canadian-based businesses that have been hardest hit by the pandemic will be able to receive low-interest loans of up to a million dollars. These are 100% Government of Canada-backed loans and can be used for rent, utilities, and help with payroll. Later today, Minister Ng will have more details to share about the loans, including how to access this support once applications open on February 1st.